When I get asked about my job, I always say two things. It pays well, but it's pretty boring. And I'm definitely not alone in saying that. Most people do not enjoy the job that they do very much. But that sucks because wouldn't it be amazing if you could enjoy what you make money from? But I wasn't exactly good enough to race motorbikes for a living. So I had to come up with another plan. So I do, I find new ways every single month to try and integrate something that I enjoy into my job. And this month is no different, except I'm starting to run out of hobbies. It was this game me and my buddies used to play a lot. It was a game where you can like guess the car based off like a half image. You can guess the horsepower of certain cars and guess Nürburgring lap times. It was super fun. And it taught me a lot about cars, pretty much everything I know about cars. But now that I'm a biker, I have nothing. So instead of dreaming, I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna make my own. I've never developed a game like this, so please don't go too hard in the comments. Okay, so first a bit of gameplay. So just like with the original, you have a single mode, and then if you would like to, you can play with brands. We're gonna do both just for comparison, but we'll play single mode first. And then here we have like a bunch of different game modes. You can guess the horsepower, the zero to 100, the production here, the bike, the top speed price, the CC, and then we also have a community feature where you can add your own stuff or just add submissions of what you would like to be in the game because the game gets stale when you're constantly playing with the same cars. So one of my personal favorites is guess the bike. And here we go, it gives us a picture of a beautiful bike and say, which bike is this? And it gives us a few options here. Now, if you know literally a half a thing about a bike, you know that that can only be one thing. And because I'm so smart, I won, so I'm gonna play again. Here, it can be a Duke 390, a RC8, a Ninja H2, or R1M. So if you know anything about bikes, you're like, dude, this is an absolute joke. This is way too easy, which is why I've made brands mode. So now we're going on brands mode and then we can choose a manufacturer. So my personal favorite is Honda. I love Honda. And then I'm gonna play guess the bike once again. Which bike is this? So it's definitely not a 125. I doubt it's a 600. They really come in Repsol. Not a 300, so it must be a 2010 Cibo 1000. Yeah, it can only be the 2008 one. <laughs> Gotta be the 300. That looks a lot like the 300, but I'm pretty sure that's a 600 love the 1000 sp all right so that is honda so let's say you don't like honda let's play with someone else like yamaha let's try some different features and we'll play guess the top speed so which bike has a higher top speed now you notice here it's not like 2008 yamaha r1 because it's just too easy to guess at that point so you, i sprinkle like a little bit of mystery in here like i say 2015 yamaha but i don't say which one Ooh, i wonder an r3 or an r1m which one is quicker Let's play a different game now. And then we have all the different game modes. Then you have guess the horsepower, you guess which bike has more horsepower, zero to 100, production here, uh, price. I love the price one. It goes on the average second hand value of that bike. Guess by CC, it's really fun. So I'm gonna show you how to do this so that you, know, you can learn a little something from my videos. So basically we have one big table and every single bike has its own row. So we see at the very top, we have a Yamaha from 2024. And you put in the information right here. You put in the top speed, the horsepower, the manufacturer. If it has a sub model, a URL of the photo category it's in, the super sports, the, the secondhand value, the model, the acceleration to 100, and the CC amount. And here we see, uh, I mean, this took me a while, but we have a bunch of bikes here. So let's say here in guess the top speed, this is how it works. So we come into the workflow here, and this is basically a decision that the computer makes based on whether we are doing a brands mode or not brands mode. So you see here, if we do brands mode, here we basically select a bunch of cars that only come from a certain manufacturer. And if we don't do that, we just pick two random bikes from our massive table. And this while is just to make sure we don't pick the same bike twice. And here we get two records, two bikes. And here we give them a name, a display name for this game. Now, as you see here, we only put in production here and manufacturer. That's because let's say I put in like BMW S1000 RR and then a Yamaha R3. If you just use your logic, you're gonna see that, okay, the S1000 is definitely gonna be quicker because it's a 1000. So I'm not putting in the model name because then it's just too easy. Then we shuffle them. This is not as important. This is more important in other game modes. And here we actually display the photo of the car that you guys see in the emulator. So you see here, our image URL is called work for the first car um, info photo URL. So if you don't know, that is a way that we display photos in the emulator. You go to, let's say a random bike. Let's say something like the RC390. You click on a random photo like this. You say, 
open image a new tab and then you just copy the URL you can't see it now but the copy you just copy the URL at the very top and then we use that as a variable to display different images of different bikes and here is the name that we made earlier with the production here and the model here's where we ask the user for their decision which bike has a higher top speed and we see here we have an array called choice with the different options that the user can choose oh well basically the only two options in this case is the first car or the second car and here we have our condition so basically if the user this decision is the same as the first car's name and the first car's top speed is higher than the second car then you won you know you guessed it right or in another case if your decision is the same as a second car's name and the second car is faster than the first car then you also won if it's not that then you just lose i'm also going to explain my favorite one the guess the bike so we start the exact same way but as i said this time we do it four different times instead of just two bikes we now give the user an option to choose of four bikes we only show them a picture of one but we give them the option of four and then here we get four different records meaning four different bikes and now we give the user the full name of each so it's the production here the manufacturer the model and the sub model in order then we randomly shuffle it because what used to happen is that if i put it in this order then the correct answer was always in the same spot so let's say like the correct answer was always the third option so we fix that just by shuffling so just to refresh it, this is what it actually looks like let's say brands mode under and guess the bike so this is exactly what happened we came in here the uh, the computer saw that we have chosen to do a brand specifically so it got four different bikes with the honda brand and it put them all into this you see it i know it's called car but i did build this originally for cars but then i decided to go to bikes first car second car third car fourth car and you see here, that's because let's say that only one of these options was a Honda. Then anyone that knows anything about a bike is going to know immediately, okay, that's a Honda because it's the Honda colors. So we just wanted to make it more difficult. And you see here, we only send one photo. However, the choices is four different Honda bikes. What I'm actually going to be coding next is a leaderboard system. So basically, if you get certain questions right, you get points. And then I'm going to have a leaderboard. Yeah, it's going to be super cool. I'm going to get it to my buddies. I'll we'll play for a month and we'll see who comes out on top. Maybe this develops into an actual game, I don't know. But all of these games pretty much work with the same concept of what I just explained. Only thing I'm gonna do now is I'm still gonna add a lot more bikes. So at the moment, I only have 38 bikes, which is very little. So I'm gonna have to get cracking on that. So thank you very much for joining me on this pretty cool video. Yeah, take my advice, try to make whatever you're doing to make money, make it fun for yourself, because it teaches you a lot more than just doing things that you have to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.